I have hit the jackpot, pun intended. This is the new jackpot control board from V1 Engineering. I also ordered the neat little V1 Engineering screwdriver set, bit driver set. And I ordered the 32-bit SanDisk SD card. Ladies and gentlemen, ta-da! Now, from a standpoint of if it ain't broke, don't fix it, why would I want to replace the main board controlling my Lowrider version 3 uh, V1 Engineering designed do-it-yourself CNC, also known as a mostly printed CNC. And there are a couple of reasons that argue in favor of this. One is that it allows a Wi-Fi control of the movement of the CNC from a tablet or phone or other Wi-Fi enabled device. And the other is that this one is a Gerbil compatible board, a GRBL compatible board. And that means its behavior is going to be uh, preferable for a couple of things. One is it will be able to perform faster and better for use of a laser diode attached to my low rider. And the other is that when you tap the pause button during a job, uh, as I understand from reading on the forum, then you actually get an instant pause as opposed to a long delay while a buffer of commands gets executed. And here we have the heat sinks, which would be put onto my Big Tree Tech TMC 2209 drivers. So in upcoming videos, or at least one upcoming video, I will probably have more to say about this board. But in the meantime, I want to tell you that the functionality you can get from this uh, compared to other boards uh, and the price of this compared to other boards mean that you get more bang for your buck with the new V1 Engineering Jackpot Control Board. I'll leave a link in the description, including a link that will get you a discount. And this is Doug with Design 8 Studio. If you like our videos, please click like and consider subscribing. And until the next video, I wish you happy making.